This is the very lovely abbey of Auvillé in the Champagne region, where almost 350 years ago, the cellar master, Dom Pérignon, improved on the technique of the culture and the winemaking of the region to make Champagne the most prestigious drink in the world. In Champagne, there's virtually hundreds of cellars like this, GH Moom, where you can buy a bottle or six and taste a glass or two. In this Champagne bar called C for Champagne in Epernay, you can buy from a selection of more than 300 different types of Champagne, or you can taste from a selection of nine Champagne by the glass. This excellent restaurant, La Table Cobus, even allows you to bring your own champagne in the restaurant. So good. A meal with champagne is not necessarily expensive, and there are lots of interesting options. In the Cavo Champagne restaurant, they serve a delicious four-course meal, matched with four different champagnes, for less than $60. The chef, Bernard Asio, loves using the best of local ingredients, like the ham of Reims, local white pudding and andouillette, the farm chicken, and the Reims mustard. Que le plat typique, c'est la potée à la champenoise. La, la potée à la champenoise qui est composée de choux, de jarret de porc, de saucisses, de lard fumé, accompagné des légumes, carottes, ainsi de suite. Ça, c'est le plat traditionnel euh, de Champagne-Ardenne. Notre spécialité, c'est aussi le lentillon, Le lentille, le lentille en rose de champagne, c'est un petit, une petite lentille rose qui est cultivée dans notre région et qui est un produit bio. Et puis nous avons nos fromages, nos fromages qui est le, avec la reine du fromage ici, c'est quand même le chat ours. This delicate dish of poached oysters with champagne sabayon is one of my favorite appetizers. First, I stir a chopped shallot in hot butter for two minutes before stirring it 12 small chopped mushrooms, which I cook for about 10 minutes. Then I place 12 fresh oysters in a little champagne in a pan and bring it to almost a simmer. For the oysters to be delicious, the champagne must not boil. I place two egg yolks and a little champagne in a bowl and beat over a bath of simmering water until light and fluffy. After removing from the heat, I whisk in 30 grams of melted butter. I then spoon a little mushroom puree into 12 clean oyster shells. I top with a drained oyster and coat the oysters with the champagne sauce before placing in a hot oven for a few minutes until the sauce lightly browns. Voilà, the very delicious huître au sabayon de champagne. This is the very charming city of Metz in the Lorraine region, and tomorrow we are going to meet one of its local pâtissiers who makes some amazing cakes.